Namaste. My name's Christina, and I'm going to be taking you through a yoga sequence. This is a yin inspired sequence. So when you're ready, find a quiet space and a blanket. If you have any knee sensitivities or neck sensitivities, be especially cautious and use modifications. We'll start on our back. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to the belly. Arrive in your space and let go of everything that's happened so far in your day. Let go of expectations after this time. Allow your body to melt into the mat. Bring awareness to where the air is entering and exiting your body. Begin to extend your exhale. On your inhale, allow your belly to rise before your chest. Exhale, belly, chest. Slowly bring your hands above your head and point your toes. Move your ankles to the right corner of the mat and your hands to the top right corner of the mat. If it feels good, cross your ankles, maybe take hold of your wrist. Allow both hips to melt into the mat. For Bananasana, Banana Pose. Try not to move as much as possible in these poses. Each fidget distracts the mind. It's when we fidget, when we really need to pay attention. So breathe into that space. Exhale, release it, and you may find you'll go deeper. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Let it go. Begin to move back to center gently and shift your ankles to the bottom left corner and your hands to the top left corner. If you crossed and took hold of your wrist on the other side, do so on this side. And in yoga, we get into the deep connective tissues of our ligaments. We stretch them out for increased mobility, increased strength, and relaxation. Because the deepest stuff is stored in our ligaments. Where we don't often engage deep breath in deep breath out banana asana is a beautiful pose that targets the liver meridian.
Inhale, back to center. And bring your knees in, roll to one side, and come up to a seated position where you're sitting on your shins. You're gonna wanna bring a blanket under your shins. If you don't have one, that's fine. Just adds some extra cushion to this bony part of our leg. Start with your hands in front of you. This is gonna get into the ankles. Slowly begin to walk your hands back until you find your edge. That space where you feel something it's not painful though. Maybe walk your hands all the way behind your torso. Pull the crown of your head away from you and allow your heart to shine forward as you roll your shoulders down your back. Deep breath in. Let it go. Stay here, or if you'd like a deeper ankle stretch, begin to lift one knee and then the other, slowly, mindfully. Begin to tune in with your body and take note of how you're feeling today. Observe to let it go. Maybe lift both knees up. If you feel any pain, back off. Release this. Bring your hands forward and tap out your feet. Tuck your toes. And begin to walk your hands back once more. This time your hands walk up your thighs. Maybe untuck your pinky toes. Extend the crown of your head high. Bring your palms to your lap face up or face down. And breathe into the discomfort. Shine light on the darkness, and the darkness no longer exists. Deep breath in. Let it go. Maybe allow the corners of your mouth to curl up into a smile. Notice how it has an effect on your entire body. Gently come out of this posture to come to lie on the belly in crocodile. Elbows are out to the side Stack your hands on top of each other and allow your legs to splay out to the side as well as your toes. On your in-breaths, allow your belly to press against the earth. Relax your shoulders. Relax your legs. There's nowhere you have to be but here. And 
Yin yoga works with energy meridians of the body. In Chinese medicine, this is called Qi, the energy that moves through. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And press up. Bring your blanket back under your knees. We'll come into a tabletop. Step your right foot forward in between your hands. Allow the top of the back foot to rest on the mat. Not an inhale. Lift up to Anjana Asana. Deep hip stretch. If you have any heart issues or circulatory problems, keep your hands on your hips. Exhales, hips go deeper. Deep breath in. Let it go. Deep breath in. Let it go. Maybe begin to notice how your body is opening. Your next exhale, draw your shoulders back, elbows back for cactus arms. Your heart's radiating forward, crown of the head extends. Deep breath in. Exhale, release. From here, we'll move into Adho Mukha Savasana, Downward Dog. Lift your hips, keep your knees bent, and passive Downward Dog. Bring awareness to your fingertips. Allow the crown of your head to melt as your hips pull back. And on an exhale, step your left foot forward. Untuck your back toes for Anjaneyasana on the other side. Gently bring your torso up Maybe hand is on your thigh, hips, or above your head. Stillness. Peace. Forgiveness. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Exhale, cactus your arms. Thumbs face behind you. Press into the front foot. 
and find a softness. Let it go. Bring your hands back down to the mat. Take your blanket and pull it to the side and come to lie on your belly. With your elbows directly under your shoulders, your arms are parallel with each other. Your hip bones, your pubic bone are pressing into the mat. And you're gonna allow your legs to soften in this pose. A yin inspired sphinx pose. Legs are relaxed, neck is relaxed. If it feels good, allow your head to drop in between your shoulders. Stay here, or if you'd like to go deeper, begin to walk your hands forward and lift your elbows. Keep the legs soft. This is a very passive pose. Keep awareness into your fingertips. and gaze forward. Maybe close your eyes. You're doing beautifully. Deep breath in, compassion. Let it go, forgiveness. This posture is targeting the kidney meridian. This is tied to fear and wisdom. Trying to hold on to things. Maybe it's trust issues. I trust myself. I trust the universe. Exhale, release down. Bring one cheek to the mat and your arms by your side. Shake out your hips to release any tension. Bring your other cheek to the mat. And let it go. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press up and back with your toes together and your knees wide. Extended child's pose, Balasana. Allow your forehead to melt into the mat, shoulders to soften, hips to soften. Asana stimulates the stomach meridian. Tied to worry and overthinking. I am enough. I am enough. Deep breath in, let it go. Inhale, gaze forward, lift your torso.
and come back onto the belly. Bring your right arm out to the side and your left hand under your left shoulder. Press into your left hand and begin to roll onto your right side Breathe into your shoulder, broken wing pose. If you'd like to take it deeper, begin to bend through your left knee and step it behind you. Breathe into your shoulder as it releases. Deep breath in, let it go. Deep breath in, let it go. Extend your left arm out to the side and your right hand underneath your right shoulder. Press your right hand into the mat and begin to roll onto your left side. If you bent your knee on the other side, do so on this side. Bring awareness to your foot. You may notice one side is tighter than the other. My left shoulder is much tighter than the other today. Deep breath in. Let it go. Here we're opening the heart. blood circulation and mental function run through. I want you to begin to bring awareness to someone that you love very much. Notice where you feel the sensation in your body. Imagine them happy and smiling. Exhale to release. From here, we're going to pull a blanket over and roll it into a cylinder. helps to keep one side fat and then it rolls into the less folded side that way it stays a bit better we're gonna align this rolled cylinder blanket along our sign bring the soles of the feet together knees wide if soup to is too intense for you today and you're looking for more of a restorative posture. Keep your legs extended. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Bring awareness to someone that challenges you. Bring awareness back to that loving kindness that you felt for your loved one. 
Now imagine the loving kindness that you feel. Transfer to this person that challenges you. Anger is like a hot coal. In the end, we are the ones that get burnt. Bring your hands to the outside of your thighs and draw your knees together. Bring your arms wide and inch your hips over to the right as your knees drop to the left. This is simulating the lung meridian. which controls sadness and grief. Begin to bring awareness to yourself and how you exist in the world. Imagine and feel that same loving kindness to yourself. Allow. Let go. And breathe. Draw your knees into your chest and your hands around your knees. Begin to make circles with your knees. Massage your hips, your lower back. Reverse directions. Exhale, release your feet down. Inch your hips over to the left. Knees to chest as the knees drop to the right side. Maybe your gaze goes over your left shoulder. If not, no biggie. Most importantly, for remaining still and accepting. Deep breath in, deep breath out. The supine twist stimulates the Sanjiao Meridian, which is responsible for transformation. You can be whatever you want to be today. Each day is a new day. Bring your gaze back to the ceiling. Knees back to center. Bring your knees in one more time. Spread your legs and take a hold of the outside of your feet. Happy baby pose. Allow your lower back to release. Relax your neck. your exhales, let go of any last areas of holding, of resistance. Let it flow, let it go. Deep breath in. Let it go.
deep breath in. Exhale to release. Bring your feet to the mat, your arms to your side. Inhale to lift your hips for a counter pose. Exhale, extend your legs out long, legs together, toes pointed. Bring your hands underneath your hips and begin to press into your forearms as your heart lifts towards the ceiling and maybe, just maybe, the crown of your head meets the earth. If you have neck tension, injury, do not do this pose. Press into your forearms. Allow your heart to open. Allow your neck to open. Deep breath in. Let it go. Lift your head if it's on the mat. Release down. Wiggle from side to side to release your arms. For Shavasana. Corpse pose. Let it all go. Take up space. Allow your body to melt into the mat. Let go of your feet. Let go of your legs. Let go of your stomach. Let go of your shoulders. Let go of your elbow. Let go of the palms of your hands. Relax your fingers. Let go of your neck. Relax the space where your neck meets your skull. Let go of your scalp. Soften your forehead. Bring awareness to your jaw. Soften your lips. Allow your teeth to part slightly. Bring the tip of your tongue to the back of your teeth. Connect to you. Connect to your truth. Begin to bring awareness into your hands, your feet. Gently bring sensation back into your body by wiggling your fingers, your toes. Make circles with your ankles, circles with your wrists. Draw your knees up towards you. Maybe sway from side to side if that feels good. And eventually, roll onto the left side as your left arm forms a pillow underneath your head. Just take a moment of gratitude here. Two things that you have to be grateful for in your life. What are they? When you're ready, press up to seated position. Hands at heart center. May there be peace, love, happiness, bless, namaste. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me.
you are loved. And if you could subscribe to my channel, that'd be awesome. Thanks.